What is up, Nighthood? Agent Elf back here with another Amnesia The Dark Descent episode. We're getting right back into it. So where we left off, we had just completed this cog machinery here. We still need to figure out some of these uh, parts or how exactly to work this machine. Um, I just refilled some oil also. But we also, critically related to the plot, just found out the timeline that... Um, with respect to me going to Algeria, or Daniel going to Algeria, me discovering this orb, coming back, and how something has followed in my trail behind me and has killed the individuals that have been associated with this orb, and how I just re had received a letter from Alexander, this Alexander, this Baron in Brenningburg, or Altstadt, and asked me to come here and he could protect me from something. So, and I took up his offer, and that is why I'm here, and now I'm retracing these steps, trying to figure out what exactly happened while I was here. Um, so yeah, let's get back into this. I'm still trying to figure out this this puzzle. Um, I'm missing some piece, clearly, because I need to put something in the burner, and the cogs are still not turning. Um, and I left these here, which I'm, I'm still assuming that these go here. I don't even know if I need to change something with this flow. But there is supposed to be something in the inner study with a with a rod. I remember that. So maybe maybe I missed a rod or something up here. I'm just going to check really quick before backtracking. Oh, okay. Pressure. Um, do I... Hmm. Is there a lantern I can light? Yeah. Save some lamp oil. Ooh. Pressure. Okay, so I have... Okay, hold on. Let me, let me think about this for a second. I have... Three, three, five, one, two, four. Five one two four, and then one five six five two two. So maybe let's try maybe all of them greater. But the, the, these are equal, so that doesn't necessarily. Maybe I have to make the pressures equal. Okay, so. Okay, so if I have a three on this side, let's do eight. That's ten. Five. That's no, nah, that's ten. Um, Nothing from my notes that I remember about this. No mementos. Notes. Machine equipment memo. Note that there are only two spare rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case all three would crack again. I'm not entirely sure if I'm missing something here. But 
that's not going to even out. set of three rods unavailable, there's one rod in the inner study rooms which might work, in case the elevator breaks down again. You should always use the spare rods in the storage before using a mended one. Oh, can I use the broken needle? Study. That's the study. That's the guest room. <laughs> Sir William Smith had been marked. There is no way for him to know that the from the other day was cast such a terrible shadow. Okay, that's another memento of some Oh, I have not been here. Oh, okay. For some reason, I had forgotten I had not been here. Oh, I have no tinder boxes. Great. Um, okay, so there's a note. Any tinder boxes in here? Really? Nothing? Okay, let me get this note. Letter regarding the discovery of an orb. To my most trusted student and friend, Johan Weyer, the most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the heliodromist described it in the Horchus Conclusus. It was 
It was as it was told about, an underground Mithraic temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. Wow, sorry, that was a bunch of mouthful. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands, and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich. The contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility. Impossibility? Wait, it was an impos impossibility. Oh my gosh, Colin. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Altstadt, investigating one of the antiquated trails when I finally found the cavern. I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as, I, as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief thinking I would be spared. Suddenly a blue shimmering light engulfed me and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal, black, with leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as it, as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and it rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance, and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside of Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still, until this day, I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Altstadt. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Okay, so Agrippa has had encounters with these orbs before. Boy, I'd love a tinderbox. <laughs> For old time's sake. Who's that? Oh, it's like a hide statue. Sorry, I was just interested. Uh, anything else in here? I don't see anything. Where's that note? What? I could have sworn there was a note in here. Oh, don't love that portrait. That's kind of creepy. At least there's a fire in here. Are there any notes? Oops. Oh, thank you, Tinderbox. Oh, oh, god, that actually scared me. Okay, so there's bones in here. 
Anatomy Frontiers, 1658, January 9th. So this is very, very, very far back in time. So this actually follows in line with potentially about the Baron being very old, or immortal. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of that energy or of the, of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. Okay, so he was... So this must be Alexander. I must... Yeah, the A. Okay, this is Alexander. Um, so apparently alongside humans, he was also interested in anatomy of animals. And this also probably was the beginning of his origins of experiments on humans. I don't like backtracking through doors like this. Animal experiment. Oh, I did miss this. Sorry. Canis lupus familiaris, 1658, April 12th. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous response, causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy, since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process of torture oh, to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. Yeah, this guy sucked. Here. It's also very dark. Okay, I did not find a rod back here, but this may not be where that rod was. Checking really quick, just to make sure I did not miss anything in these rooms. What is that? time to make sure I did not miss anything in these rooms. Apologize for backtracking. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. I don't know why I do the things I do in this game. I should know better. Okay, make sure there's no, like, there's no rod hidden in here, right? Just skulls. <laughs> just skulls. Um, okay, so I think this purpose here was just me learning more about these experiments. Yeah. Right? So, there's nothing else in here. still looking for this rod that I'm missing. Um, I apologize, I don't know how I missed it, apparently. Let me check the study again. Oh, that's the guest room. Is there another door in here that I did not go in? No. Well, let me make sure. I feel like I'm getting lost now. Find some ways to try the path. Yeah. And a diary 
these notes. Uh, in case of a missing rod. There is one rod in the inner study rooms, which might work in case the elevator breaks down again. Unless it's absolutely necessary, always use the spare rods in the storage before using a mended one. So, possibly I am just missing... I might be missing another rod in the storage room, so I'm gonna have to go through those rooms again in the storage, because I did not see any in the study, but I don't believe that this is the inner study. That's just the study, and I went through those rooms pretty thoroughly, I thought. I'll, I'll come back to the study if I do not find anything in the storage, but I think for now I need to go into the storage again. Which I hate it down here, but... Professor Taylor was the second death caused by his damned curiosity. Oh god, yeah, the monster's down here. Okay. Looking for a rod. I'm trying to be quick. That's what she said! <laughs> Got excited, I literally thought that was it. fairly empty. Don't want to use all my lamp oil either. Equipment. Making sure there's nothing in these rooms. Oh, tinderbox. Very nice. Explosive. And I went in here. I just went in here, right? Okay, so yeah, so there's. As far as I know, there's nothing. I checked all these rooms. Okay, so there's nothing in here. There's gotta be a way, maybe I can, I still have the hand drill, maybe I can, do I have the chemistry, I don't have the pot though. Okay, so I can't get in there, is there an alternate way to get in there? Monster was in here last time, so I'm gonna try to be a little bit more careful in here. It's not like in one of these pigs or anything. seen anything. 
thing. It's not like up here. There's a tender box, that's nice. Did I miss all these tender boxes? Are they respawning? There's nothing in here. I didn't miss like a cleverly hidden thing in the wine bottle or something. I mean, so far, things have been kind of out in the open when they're like um, critical to the plot. More machine parts. I didn't miss anything here. Touch this like an idiot. That's where I found the two rods. Okay, so I don't see them in here. Set of three rods is unavailable. There is one rod in the inner study rooms, which might work in case the elevator breaks down again. So maybe it is in the study, unless it's absolutely necessary. You always use the spare rods in the storage before using a mended one. But I found two in storage. Note that there are only two spare rods left. In oh, okay. So th there are only two spare rods. Make sure to only discard the ones. Keep the others in, in their study rooms. Okay, so. So they must be in the inner study rooms then, if they're not here. Okay, so I'm confirmed not crazy. There's apparently I'm just missing it in the inner study rooms. I don't know where. Let's go back to the back hall. He flipped through the book of monarchs looking for etchings and counted nine different kings. Yeah, the thing with the orbs, all the kings. Apparently everyone's touched this orb. That's what she said. Apologies, this is taking me a while. Um, let me let me just make sure that I. What is this called down here? This is not the inner study, is it? Because this was flooded. I'm assuming this is like sewers, archive tunnels. But I don't think I need to backtrack through there. I, I'm I'm sure I probably missed something back there, like a room, but it probably was just tender boxes. Because it kind of was a maze, and I think I got lucky. Okay, study. Unless there is a door back here called Inner Study that I just missed out of me being terrified of trying to avoid this shadow. It sounds like a gunshot behind me. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything in here. Room and I just missed it. Break this again. There's nothing in there. There's nothing in this chest, right? No. There's nothing in there. There's nothing in those vases, right? Huh? 
apparently have to let go of it. There's nothing up here. Can I, like, get back here? Oh, is there something in this, these drawers, maybe? No. That would have been kind of ridiculous if they hit it back there. There's nothing here. That's a little funnel or something. Okay, I feel like that's not like inner study, though. I feel like inner study would be back here. Can I pull these off the wall, maybe? No. The inner study rooms. I mean, these are inner study. Okay, Colin, don't just like spaz around to look. As I start spazzing around. Seeing any rod. This is in our study. There's nothing on the mantle. There's nothing in these drawers. Can't like use a bone. seeing anything and there's nothing I can do back here this is all rubble okay let me go back I wish I had a map I don't think I have a map, though. Inner study rooms. Let me go downstairs and make sure I'm not, like, missing a room down here that I just did not see. crazy that I can't figure out how to way to start the engine that powers the elevator. If a full set of three rods is unavailable, there's one rod in the inner study rooms, which might work. I'm going to go back into the study, because I... Uh, I'm, I'm really, like, kind of lost right now, trying to figure out... ...where this third rod might be. Because that the other note said that there's only two in the storage, so I've, I've found those two. That's not it, is it? Okay, I was about to say if that was it, I was gonna lose my mind. I like that, that's like. 
That's not one. It's not like hidden in the piano. Hidden back here or something. Hidden under this desk, is it? Oh, lamp oil, come on. It's not like behind this table or something. I feel like I've already kind of ransacked this room. Something back here. I've been in this room, but I'll check again. I'm out of lamp oil. And Kind of painting? It's a tiny painting on that wall. The inner study rooms. There's only one room here that I know of. that keep happening. <sighs> is this like a pu do I is this like a in a puzzle that I put a thing on this or something? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to stay. Um I'm going crazy. This is... There's nothing to do with this dove. I, uh, I'm I'm kind of lost. And like I feel like I've been everywhere that I can think of. I need, I might I might have to pause here for a second um Okay, I'm back. I I I there there has to be a way to get around this rubble in the study. Because the third rod has to be in the inner study. That's what my note said, and the other one confirmed that there's only two in the storage. So, there has to be a way 
Sorry, I was getting my timer back up. I, oh. My foil, thank you. Ooh, ooh, don't love that. I think I... <laughs> I remember this giving me an animation. Okay, I think I can break through this. Yeah. Okay, so this is how I get around the rubble. Okay, I, I apologize. That was not... Ugh, I was not putting that together. Even though it clearly broke for me. Oh, I have another one of these. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries. From where I came, mankind is not even waste... Not... From where I came, mankind has not even wasted a breath, yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what to make of that so far. Oh, here's a little cog. I don't think I need that for the machine. Hopefully I don't have to drag it all the way back. Chamber controller. Emergency decelerator. Just making sure I'm not missing anything in here first. Uh, let's light the candle. There's the third rod. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, y'all. Elevator machine instructions. Okay. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Okay, steam engine to build up pressure. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read up 8 and down 8. Okay, so I was right about having it to be even, but I'm shooting for 8. Okay. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Trinity steam set functions, 4 phase amplitude, complete steam flow cycle. Note that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. Okay, so I got the flow cycle rod. Ooh. Oh, I was expecting a lot more in there than two dinner boxes, but I will take it. Uh, I need to get out of here because I'm going insane. Oh, I really hope I do not need these cog pieces. Because that would be annoying to have to bring those all back. I think this is just decoration. Okay, so I have the final rods. So let's go back, making progress. Okay, so this, I want to look at this again. When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries. From where I came, mankind has not even wasted a breath, yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trust you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. Okay, so Agrippa entered some gate, which I'm assuming that's Alexander speaking. God, I'm out of here. Please don't be something around the corner. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I think I can get... Okay, so I need up 8, down 8. I need the rod in the flow setting. Ooh. Oh, no. I can get this elevator working before the end of this episode because I know it's getting kind of close. So, and I, again, apologies, this is taking so long to get this figured out. But um, okay, let's get this set correctly first. Okay, I have no lamp oil. There's lamp oil at the bottom of this though, and I have four tender boxes. Okay, so it needs to be up eight, down eight. So let's reset all these. So now that I know what I'm looking for. Okay, so it's gonna have to be... Okay, so it's up 8, down 8, so I need... So, I'm assuming it's gonna be evenly dispersed, so it's gonna be 3 up that equal 8, and 3 down the equal 8. So, let's try... Let's try 3... Uh, 4, 5, let's try 3, 1, 4... Oh, no. Because uh, that's five on the bottom. I have a feeling it's going to need to be... It's going to be... Okay.
Okay, well, I feel like six, that's gonna, it's gonna be hard to do with six, so I think I need to do five. That's eight. It's two, seven, eight, okay. Beautiful, okay, yeah, yeah, because I was, I was sitting there looking at six, and I'm like, six, and then I need two, and there's no, there's no one, so that's kind of a giveaway. Just thank you, developers, for making that kind of a giveaway. Okay, so the flow is even, or the pressure is even. I need to put this rod in the flow slot. Which I'm assuming is that one. Flow cycle rod. All rods are in place. Okay, cool. I've already set up the cogs downstairs. I'm gonna fill up my oil when I get down there too. Oh, but I still need something in here. Let me see if I can at least get this. Machinery needs more work before you run. I still need something to burn. Is there like coal? Lantern's now fully refilled. Do I? Do I just put? Co Is this coal? I mean, there's. There's shovels around. I'm wondering if this is just coal. Or what this is. This might be not correct, but I'm gonna try this. Burner's now full of coal. Okay, so I'm, that's burning. Oh, okay, cool. Awesome. Machine is working, so that means the elevator must be working. I'm assuming it's working because uh, the goop is back. Or the uh, whatever it was, the uh, remnant of the shadow. Daniel, you're going crazy. Oh, sorry. Oh wait, it's back this way. Oh my gosh, how's my health? Yeah, I'm gonna take some laudanum, because, oh my gosh, just let me back in there. because I can't go back that way. Yeah, I have nothing. Okay. Alright, here we go. I am going down. Some flickered between the pine trees and carried the first castle. I think memory of a fox in the window was painted in the game somewhere around. Just had to take the run on the elevator. Okay, made significant progress despite the uh, hiccups with the puzzle. Okay, I'm wondering if I am in the inner sanctum now. I wonder if that's where this elevator took me. I need to go back through my mementos and check, but. Um, Oh boy, yeah. Sorry that that took so long, Nighthood. Um, I'm gonna call this episode here. Um, so now it looks like we are permanently down in the. I'm assuming to be Inner Sanctum. And yeah, I cannot wait to continue the story. So I will see you all next time. Uh, I'm excited to continue this.